black women, you better get yourself a black ass man and hold on to him, because you can't make it without him. Fuck what you heard, baby. I love and worship the ground that a black man walk on. I don't give a fuck, and it don't have nothing to do with the money. I am the breadwinner, and I'm married to what I think is the best black man on the face of this earth. You hear what I'm saying to you? Oh, baby. But I am the breadwinner. He does not work because he have a problem reading. <laughs> but we gonna work with that illiterate motherfucker. He be embarrassing me and shit, ordering shit he can't pronounce in the restaurant. Can I get a strawberry dak why? What the fuck is a dak why, you ignorant bitch? Point to it. You order shit else. <laughs> But he's mine, baby. You hear what I'm saying to you? He's my non-reading motherfucker. He is mine, and I will kill a bitch if she step to him. I don't, I ain't fighting over no man. I ain't gonna fight you. I'ma kill your motherfucking ass, cause that's my shit. That's my shit, baby. I will hit you in the back of your throat with a goddamn hammer. Say, bitch, I told you. Now you can't talk. You mad with me. I don't play that bullshit. And for all you women out here who's got a man and you got a single girlfriend, Fuck that bitch. Don't you let that bitch up in your house when you ain't home. You hear what I'm saying? Don't you even let that bitch go to the movies with y'all, bitch. I don't know what to tell you. I'll get you the DVD when it come out. You ain't going to the motherfucking picture show with me, you lonely bitch. I don't trust no woman. When I first got the show, the Parkers, you know, I'm a little girlfriend out in Hollywood say, bitch, you gotta get a maid. You star star. I'm cleaning your shit. So I ain't never had nobody come in and clean my shit, so I got tickled. And I called a little maid service. Hey, I need a bitch over here <laughs> <laughs> to clean my shit up. So they kept sending these real pretty perky white girls. I said, oh, no, no. I got a motherfucking husband. Uh-uh, this bitch has got to be 65, a Mexican who can't speak a bit of motherfucking English with one tooth and two strands of hair. And that bitch can't even spend the night. When I leave, every bitch in the house leave. When I get my coat and pocketbook, mama, you grab your shit too. I don't trust your ass either. Sit out on the front till I get back. <laughs> Fuck what you heard, baby. But see, as a wife, as a wife, and a lot of the youngsters say, what you mean? As a wife, I know my place with my husband. You hear what I'm saying? Even though I make all the money, he's still the king of my castle. I give him what he wants, when he wants it, and a bitch's own time when he say be there. Cause I'm not losing that man over some shit. I would not do. Especially when it comes to that bedroom, my husband calls me the FBIA, the freakiest bitch in America. Cause I give it to him however the fuck he wants it. You hear me? And for you crazy bitches sitting out there talking about, I ain't gonna do that nasty shit. I ain't gonna do that freaky shit. He want me to do some old nasty bullshit. Bullshit. Well, let me tell you something. What you won't do, another bitch will. And she will do that shit so swell, his ass ain't coming back home. So if your man wants you to do some nasty, gutter butt, trifling, slutty, hoish, pornographic bullshit, you better get with the motherfucking program, baby. If he wants to stick his dick in your ear, lend that nigga your ear. I hear you coming, nigga. I hear you coming.